Hey gang, AV here. Uh, you know, I've showed off my comic book collection room, my man cave, which is upstairs in my house, and uh, I talk about my comics all the time, and you've seen my Marvel Legends and stuff like that, but none of you have seen my G.I. Joe slash 118th scale collection, which is, hopefully you can get the impression that it's pretty massive because it it is <laughs> i uh i'm in the basement of my house right now which um god willing within the next couple of years will be professionally finished and added as a living area in my home but for now it's not you know it's just storage only and kind of sucks because I don't have anywhere in the actual house to show off my G.I. Joe stuff at all. I've been collecting it for over 10 years. I loved them as a kid. I got back into it with the 25th anniversary line and I've been going strong with them ever since. Um, and the idea is back in that dark dingy corner over there to have a massive display set up um with shelves dedicated to particular environments with you know the arctic troopers on one shelf the desert troopers on one shelf the jungle stuff i i want to go crazy with this stuff i'm telling you um but it's gonna take a lot of time gonna take some money and I've got neither right now, <laughs> but, but you know, I was, I was feeling a little antsy and I, I just, I wanted to show some of my stuff off, you know, cause it's, it's been a long time since I've been active on YouTube and those of you that have been following my channel for a long length of time, you know, probably picked up along the way that I've had trouble with my camera. I've had trouble with my PC. Uh, I've had a lot of life changes going on. I've, I recently got married, you know, I, my work has been crazy. I mean, it, it's just one thing after another after another. Well, everything's starting to balance out now, you know. And I got my, I got my computer fixed, you know. I got my, uh, well, I didn't get my camera fixed. I'm still using the phone, but whatever. I can make it work. So, without further ado, let me show some stuff off, huh? All right. So, let me put my beer down, because I'm going to need a free hand. Ah, no, not that kind of down. <laughs> I need to put the bottle down someplace. Alright, there we go. So, anyhow. Uh, we made all these labels for a lot of the different boxes. And, at a future date, I will open up a few of the boxes, and I'll show you the actual contents of them. Because, you know, that's half the fun, is to actually see the thing in in all its glory, not just a brown box. But for now, I just want to give a, a quick once-over as to everything I got in here. So I got this, uh, this submarine, which is not fully 118th scale, but it's close enough. It'll make a good background prop. I think it was like a knockoff of one of the Ertl uh, G.I. Joe submarines that came out in the mid 90s I believe but uh I'll be honest I don't know exactly where it's from all I know is I got it at the thrift store for like three bucks so whatever um I got this Uline box which has uh two vintage tomahawks in there uh then I got the 25th anniversary Sky Strikers two of them in the box San Diego Comic Con exclusive Jetfire Sky Striker in the box. Haven't opened that yet. Uh, two long boxes packed with carded figures. Uh, this one's got G.I. Joe. Looks like this one's got Star Wars. Uh, mostly my co my collection um, centers around G.I. Joe and, uh, and uh, other military based uh, toy lines. But I do have a few Star Wars here and there. I have a few Indiana Jones, you know, superhero. I have the Marvel Universe figures, too. So, speaking of which, they're in these two long boxes, Marvel Universe figures. Uh, 30th Anniversary uh, Resolute 5-pack, Hiss Tanks. 
Uh, that whole box is Humvees. <laughs> um, there's a 21st Century Soldier, I believe it was called, or Ultimate Soldier or whatever. And then there was uh, the World Peacekeepers Power Team Elite. I, I Every time I found a Humvee, I would buy it. And it went in that box. I think I've got like seven or eight now. Uh, there's Captain America, the Strike Fire Transport. I got two of them. I can actually show you better from the other side of that box. Uh, these are just houses I got at the thrift store. They were like three bucks each, so what the hell? Uh, that's the Bat Cave, by the way, the old Kenner Bat Cave in the corner there. Uh, let's see. There's uh, like a Sesame Street play set I got for like a background piece there's some more houses there's the uh, Star Trek uh, Galileo shuttle I think it was oh well um, what else we got it's the same boxes over there there's the Captain America things back there I apologize for the lighting. Like I said, I mean, this isn't really living area back down here. And the lighter is hit or miss. Two more long boxes with carded figures. Uh, the True Heroes. Uh, I forget what it's actually called, but it's the C-130 plane. The cargo plane that they come out with. It, it's a Toys R Us exclusive line. And you can see there's an open one on top there. I've got two opened ones I got at the thrift store, again, for like three bucks each. And uh, down here we got a, a mint box hiss tank. The driver fell down. He's sleeping on the job down there. Uh, DeLorean. Time machine. World Peacekeepers. Uh, um... Battlefield, it's just like a bombed out building front. So I got two of them as background pieces. Then I got a uh, uh, more hydrofoils in there. Uh, seven figure packs. Here's a hovercraft. Um, I got a, a military base. That's all the equipment on that 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 it comes with listed there. That's a plane I'll show off in a second I'm trying to keep the video moving too so if I uh, gloss over something I promise I'll give it more time later this will not be the last time you guys see this collection so um, a Bruder uh, Land Rover it's a little bit uh, a little bit out of scale but it's close enough and uh, you know you find it in Marshalls and Ross and all that and it works good with G.I. Joe, so. Uh, World Peacekeepers, main battle tank. Kinda like an Abrams. Uh, I got a toothless there. <laughs> uh, G.I. Joe HQ, just for parts. I have a complete one in another box. These are uh, the McFarlane uh, Monsters kits. I got them for the accessories and all that. I haven't gotten around to open them yet. There's my uh, Legacy uh, Red 5 X-Wing Fighter. Uh, Marvel Comic Packs. These are all the... Uh, uh, my dog's going nuts upstairs. Excuse me. Uh, these are all uh, like the Comic Book 2 Packs and the uh, the figure, uh, figure box sets and all that. That's what's in there. Here's a World Peacekeepers uh, uh, military base again. A different one. I don't know if it's it's a little dark. I apologize. But it comes with an awful lot of accessories. I'll be honest. I'm not crazy about the figures in this line. But the, the, the play sets, the vehicles, the accessories. Awesome. Awesome. Uh... This is a hovercraft in there, just for parts. Um, I got this thing. Uh, Super Hornet. Very excited for that. 
that whole box is all Indiana Jones play sets and uh, stuff like that, animals and things. That's my complete G.I. Joe uh, base in there. This was the San Diego Comic Con exclusive box set that just came out this year. Then I got oh, the 50th anniversary three packs, including three Eagle Hawks. That's the modern version of the Tomahawk. So if you're if you're a, keeping score at home, that's five of those helicopters I got. Um, the anniversary two packs. I've got at least one of each, I think. Including the zombie and all, all the army builder stuff. That's a Bruder Jeep. Uh, Abrams tank. Uh, the uh, 30th anniversary uh, Conquest X30 Python Patrol with a Viper. Mint on card retaliation figures. That whole box. When they came out at five below, man, I just, I sunk a few hundred bucks and got them all. Same with that box. Both of those boxes filled with them. Uh, that's just a whole bunch of accessories. I got a World War II Jeep in there and stuff like that. Um, let's see, this box. I have a Rattler. I've got the, uh, the Tiger Force Dragonfly. And I actually have a, a Bradley tank in there too. It's got a busted wheel, but I'll, I can fix that. Um, I got the uh, Thunderwing Jet, a Tonka Beast car. That's a uh, busted up Mobat just for parts. A couple of his tanks are also in here. I got a bunch of stuff in here, honestly. Um, another Sky Striker up there, a Black Hawk helicopter. Garbage truck. <laughs> um, uh, ancient Greek uh, busted up temple, which was actually like a, a fish tank um, environment. I bought, uh, these are all G.I. Joe's smaller vehicles like the Asp, the Trouble Bubbles, the, uh, the Night Landing Raft, that kind of thing is in there. Um, this whole box is just random accessories I have. <laughs> just like, you know, like backpacks, helmets, random guns. I mean, the whole damn thing. Uh, this whole box is nothing but the, uh, the fake cardboard wooden crates that the Indiana Jones figures came with. There was a seller on eBay that was just selling the crates for, you know, a dollar a dozen. So I, I bought a shipload. Um, uh, the Dollar General Joes, there was a line of G.I. Joes that only came out of Dollar General, so that, that's where I keep all them. I got a whole bunch of other things, including the Humvee and a uh, All Striker, Desert Vamp. Here's my World War II Sherman tank. World War II personnel carrier, it's a half track. These are my non-G.I. Joe uh, figures, like if you remember my Boss Fight Studio, uh, video that came out maybe this time last year. This is where I actually store all those figures. Um, rocket helicopter. This is a Navy SEAL patrol boat. Let's see. We got uh, <laughs> a little cargo truck. Uh, three and three quarter inch, four inch Batman figures. The DC line. These are all his tanks, Snowcat, blah, blah, blah. Here's a Moray Hydrofoil I have just for parts. This white box is just a box full of parts for it. Um, here's another Hydrofoil. Here's my G.I. Joe Hovercraft in there. Thunder Machine, Stinger. A couple other vehicles in there. Cobra Night Raven. Sure. Well, a couple other random things over here. I got the the display wall for Game of Thrones. I got a tank, Batmobile, another Batmobile. I got 
little dune buggy thing there. I'm telling you, I have a crap load of stuff, guys. Um, small play sets. That's kind of like the, uh, you know, the machine gun station, the bivouac. Um, you know, all that's all those little mini play sets that G.I. Joe came out with a while back, back in the 80s. Then you have, this is a complete MOBAT I have down there. Uh, dollhouse parts. I need to furnish those houses, you know. And I got the whole damn box worth of stuff for like five bucks again at the thrift store. It's a great place to find this kind of shit. And last but not least, we got this dresser here. So I've got, these are all the uh, the G.I. Joe Club exclusive figures that have come out since I, since I signed up a few years back. Uh, these are all my loose, uh, loose figures. These are all Joes, looks like. And I got, uh, these are all non-Joe figures. So I got all my Star Wars, Indiana Jones, you know, uh, superhero stuff is in here. These are all my Cobras. And down here, last but not least, all motorcycles because uh, I've got almost all of the uh, the dreadnoughts that have come out in the last few years. Um, just missing Zorana because she's a little too expensive. She was a San Diego Club uh, Comic Con exclusive, and I don't feel like paying a hundred bucks for her. So uh, I've got all the other ones though. And, you know, the Dreadnoughts are kind of like a motorcycle gang. So, I got motorcycles. And, uh, I'm going to wrap it up because I'm already running on almost 20 minutes here. So, uh, well, Fisher Place boat. You know, just to show you, they're not just empty boxes. I got all Marvel figures in there. But, anyhow, uh... I'll do follow-up videos of this stuff because I want to show this stuff off too and and uh, when I do I'll just pick a bookcase and I'll start opening up boxes you know uh, just not tonight this is just to whet your appetite let you know hey I've got other stuff besides comic books so if you like this video check out my channel if you like what you see there then please subscribe and as always thanks for watching